Good morning, General Counsel. I am here during the morning break and I am joined by Hewitt Holmes, who is from Toronto Conference and is a member of the facilitation team here at General Counsel 43. Hewitt is one of five folks who are part of the facilitation team helping to guide our new business structure. So Hewitt, welcome. Uh, thank you very much. And so firstly, I'm wondering if you could tell me a bit about the role of the facilitation team. Oh yes, the facilitation team is the team that basically takes the discussion that uh, takes place in the 14 groups that we have here at the General Council and somehow provides a sense of uh, what that discussion is mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a summary. So we basically say what we have heard and uh, in doing that we try the best we can to talk about how the the different groups mentioned things whether they uh, whether these groups were uh, in support or not in support of it and also uh, the ones that uh, didn't mention some things as well uh, we talked about we would try to talk about that too and then at the at the end of it we look at the proposal that uh, uh, the groups would have been discussing and decide based on the discussion that has taken place whether the uh, proposal needs to be put forward as is or whether the proposal needs to be adjusted or w whether we provide uh, any new direction to, to uh, uh, that particular uh, theme proposal. Fantastic. So. Just, uh, just a reminder for those who are watching, the, the new process involves listening sessions first, where people listen on the different topics, and then the discussion sessions, and then the notes from that are fed into you folks, and then you bring forward uh, reflections and recommendations to, to the decision sessions. And how do you feel, as a member of the facilitation team, how do you feel this new process is going so far? So the process has been going well. We, we met uh, uh, for... Uh, an extended period last uh, evening in order to to make the the first uh, decision session for for this morning and uh, I think they the it was a good uh, uh, time of conversation and I believe the different groups have approached the discussion different different in different ways so yeah so this morning there were a number of proposals that the facilitation team brought forward and three decisions that were made so the, the first was around um, a, recommend, or a, a proposal about email um, voting of meetings. Yes, yes. and that uh, would be, would be a, a, a new uh, approach for, for us as we live in this age of technology. Uh, we did recognize uh, in the, di the discussion that this was not something that was to be uh, a common practice but something that would be limited uh, uh, based on the, the work that the General Secretary would now do in providing guidelines as to how we could use this. So yes, we did uh, recommend and the court did approve that uh, uh, we, email voting would take place in limited circumstances and that the guidelines would be set up by the, by the General Secretary. And then the, the second proposal that you brought forward was around uh, UCW representation on the Denominational Council and the Denominational Council Executive. And the recommendation that you, the team brought forward was to refer this to the regions. Yes. Uh, so uh, at this, uh, based on the discussion we, we heard, we heard a great deal of, of uh, uh, work done by uh, UCW and the, the, the ways in which UCW has over the years influenced the, the, the decision-making process of, of, our, of our church and the need to, to continue that. Uh, uh, we did hear that, but we also heard that as we move into this new structure that we needed to, to uh, try the best we can not to be uh, based on representation at uh, uh, at uh, different levels of the courts, or representation by different groups, uh, uh, but wanting to to hold the the value, important significance of of, uh, of UCW, and not uh, wanting to move into a direction of representation on 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 uh, the different uh, councils of the of the church. Uh, the, the court felt that it was best to ask the regions to, to 
be to use their their powers of in including or uh, incorporating UCW in in their in their executive. Fantastic. And then the third uh, proposal that was brought forward this morning in the session was around a faithful decision making on social justice issues, and that was recommended by the court as well. So um, there were some proposals that your team brought that we haven't quite got to yet. So what what happens now? So what's going to happen is that uh, hopefully we will uh, 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 spend some more time to uh, look at uh, uh, the work that we had done last night as it relates to some of those proposals. But the, the decision making for, the, for those proposals will take place tomorrow morning. And so uh, those uh, proposals will come, come to the uh, uh, court tomorrow. And uh, uh, hopefully the court will uh, continue to, to receive the, the work that uh, we, we have uh, uh, tried our best to do. Fantastic. Yeah, I appreciated that that first step of, uh, as a court, does this, what the, the facilitation team is presenting, does this reflect yeah. the conversations? And then that's a, a, a place of trust to enter into those next stages. So thank you so much, Hewitt, for taking the time to chat with us. But more importantly, thank you for taking the time to be part of the facilitation team and helping general counsel um, guide be guided through this new process and, and offering your facilitation and your deep gifts of listening. So thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. I continue to hope and pray that uh, the church here and wider church will, will pray for us as we listen and discern and do the best we can to bring back to the court what we have heard. We will be praying for you. Thank you. See you later.